of course, we've got plenty of, of games with mm. players getting COVID, but of course, managers as well are struggling mm. with it. We saw Vieira, we saw Gerard, Arteta. He's yeah. not going to be on the side for Arsenal yes. against Manchester City against the club from which he came. How does that affect this particular Arsenal team, do you think, this young team? Yeah, I, I, without doubt, it will have an effect. I think if we go back a few weeks ago and we had a big conversation about Aubameyang, I think that was a coming-of-age moment for, for Arteta as a manager. I think the young players have really embraced that. There seems to be a sense of freedom within them when they're on the pitch as well. But yeah, as a manager, Arteta, put, he, he's put his faith into these younger players. So, of course, the younger players would want him to be there, but we know the way that things are at the moment. So, obviously, that makes, makes things a little bit more difficult and you're playing against the best team in the league. Well, you are. And we're, go on, Tim. Yeah, I was just... I don't normally... When a manager's missing, because they don't miss often, I, I don't normally think it makes that big of a deal. He trains a team, mm. figures out how to, how to get his team set up, and then that's it. This is a game where I think tactically they're really going to miss Mikel Arteta. I, I think he, he's going to... What he would normally do against City is set his stall out. There'll be a few wrinkles that he needs to handle on the touchline and then at halftime and make those changes. He won't be there to do that and deliver that message. That's going to be difficult. I, I think as well, if we go back to the reverse fixture... This was a turning point for Arsenal. They got beat 5-0 in Manchester City. All of a sudden, I'd said, I'm going with the younger players. I'm going with the younger players, change his system, and they've not really looked back since then. Uh, but one of the problems, though, is still with the bigger teams. They're yes. playing the smaller teams, they're playing the middling teams, they're playing well with the young players and they're winning games. But when they're coming up against even the Manchester United's, actually, and the Cities and the Chelsea, that's where they're struggling. So uh, yeah, it's another real test to see whether or not the last few weeks have yeah. taken them further. Yeah, this is also part of the progression and part of this plan that they're mm -hmm. putting in place. I will say, though, if you, and we just talked about Liverpool and Chelsea, if you're looking where can City slip up, this is a game you're thinking they could possibly get beat, and you're hoping in them. Yeah, Chelsea and Liverpool absolutely keeping everything crossed. Otherwise, Chelsea could find themselves 11 points behind top spot mm. by the time they kick off against Liverpool if City win. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.